Contemporary art today is a multimedia venture and many artists work in, in multiple ways to express themselves. But the difference with Felipe is that he has the professional skill set for these various arts. And that it is, it brings a level of craft and uh, intention to his work that sets it apart from a lot of the other artists who dabble in other media. I think this is one of those great things about being an art supporter in Atlanta, to find someone who kind of is this like triple threat of music and video and really both poetry and narrative. I mean, you get narrative and video. Felipe also, you know, loves poetry and loves beauty. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a combination. It's sort of a Renaissance combination. And to be able to, to help do something to share that to the world and then make it into this curve recurring thing, I mean, that's, that's what we should be about. We should be about finding these amazing talents like Felipe and letting him do everything that he can do because, you know, just when you think that you've seen it all, he comes up with something new that is like, oh my gosh, he's, he's talented at that too. And I, I think that, um, you know, in terms of the narrative, when you're, sh when you're shooting video, um, journalistic video, or, 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 you know, you're trying to kind of tell a story about someone's work, you have to have a, a strong sense of the narrative, and I think that actually comes into play in his music too. That in doing uh, music for silent films, you really are making decisions about how the music is supporting the narrative, and you have to really understand the narrative to do that. Felipe is astoundingly energetic, and his mind is constantly shifting back and forth and working in, in multiple ways and it's a very rich experience to work with him and I think it's evident in his videos. Each one is quite different. He's working, he shifts the format, he tries new ways of presenting images, split screen and so forth. So it's another level of creativity that make his videos different from your standard fare. He's a human being communicating, but he's doing it extremely well. And he's, you know, I think that he's pushing himself and he's, he's also being very honest with himself, which I think is the key of any kind of art form, is, is really trying to, to make work about those things that you care about because the rest of it doesn't matter. Felipe's interest in poetry is, is very interesting to me because poetry really speaks to our interior hopes and dreams in a certain way. It's a place where we're vulnerable, where we're fragile, where we, we're taking a moment, we're taking time to sort of be honest in some way. And I think that that's something that to translate between uh, words, which is a, a, a place of that interiority, to also be able to translate it into images, into and to sound. I mean, because music is a thing that really works on us most powerfully. I think it's a really interesting combination. And, and you don't, you know, you, you sometimes get people that can work well in video and in, in, in music, but the, the link between that with the poetry of the interiority, the sense of the human is, is really amazing. And you see that, you see that absolutely. And I mean, I love dance, but Felipe has an amazing way of capturing the dancers in, in not just their movement, but their intentionality, their, their interior lives. Because dance, dance is a very expressive art form, but it's almost one that works on its own language. And you have to be sensitive to the language. You have to educate yourself a bit on the language. And except to the sense that it's always just human, right? And, and I think Felipe does an incredible job of capturing that. Many artists have a signature, and it's the same leitmotif throughout their career. Um, or they're exploring the same issues, or they're expressing themselves in the same way. And Felipe's a bit of a chameleon in that regard because he really tailors his efforts to the task at hand and something like our installation at our fundraiser Bodies of Art looks and feels different than the documentary videos that he does on our website. And then to see Nosferatu and 
that's Felipe the musician and composer, it's uh, sometimes surprising that all of it comes out of one person's head. I was talking to Felipe and he said that he had done a soundtrack for Nosferatu and Nosferatu is obviously one of the great silent movies, great horror film, a classic. And I was intrigued by this and I thought, well, that could be interesting. And I started listening to it. He gave me a copy and I started listening and I was really amazed. I mean, I was enjoying so much listening to it just in the car driving around without uh, tying it to the movie. But then I sat down and uh, played it next to the movie and it really makes the film come alive. I mean, he's doing alternative tunings. There's a lot of sort of uh, kind of metal influence in it. There's also like these very kind of interesting uh, more kind of Latin meditative phrases in it. And, you know, it, I just thought we have to do this. I think, you know, here is a guy who has got these other multiple different talents, but he is an amazing musician and songwriter. And so, uh, you know, we, we found a place to do it that turned out to be at a, a classic place for it, the Goat Farm, uh, Goodson Yard. And I have to say, it was, um, it, it doesn't surprise me that it's now become a Halloween tradition because Felipe's soundtrack is brilliant and seeing it done live really energizes the film. I mean, I think Felipe's soundtrack really punches it up. It, it makes you feel the fear, it makes you feel the excitement, it makes you feel the frenzy of different moments in it. Just seeing Felipe rehearsing by himself with the guitar and hearing the guitar sort of ring through the space was, was just fantastic. I mean, I, I really have never felt the chills in the audience. And I think that even people who had super low expectations and never seen a silent film, you know, liked the idea but didn't know what to expect, were just, just blown away by it. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. When Arts ATL was planning its first fundraiser, we knew we wanted to have something very artsy and visual and unusual, and I immediately thought of Felipe. Because he works in so many media, I thought he, he would have a wonderful idea of how to deal with the vast space of the goat farm, which was where we were holding the piece. And he did not disappoint me. In fact, it went beyond what I even imagined because he collaborated with Wabi Sabi in producing a ballet in addition to the multi-screen photographic work and the music that he provided. And I was very proud to have commissioned a work of art and to have instigated a collaboration between two artists in the community. And so in addition to the money we raised, I think we contributed to the arts community in a different and also very important way. People were raving about it. I mean, people, it just, it created a new sense of the space. And I think that's one of the things that video artists, the ones who are really pushing the boundary, are realizing that you, you're, you can actually create new senses of space by projecting video in a space, but you're also giving different angles on the narrative. And to see that in such, um, you know, such beauty, I mean, I think this is, I think this is one of the things that I love about Felipe. A lot of the contemporary artists are afraid of beauty. They, they feel like, uh, you know, they feel like everything needs to be a little bit ironic, that you, you don't want to be too romantic, you don't want to be, the, the, the beauty sometimes seems like a four letter word, and you kind of wonder why. And, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's Felipe's Latin roots, but there's something refreshing about just having this really direct uh, desire to, to convey how beautiful a woman's body is, how, um, beautiful dancers movement is, whatever it is. I mean, I think that that's something that we actually don't have enough of. I first met Felipe at a symposium about arts criticism at Emory, and he came up to me and introduced himself and suggested that I might need videos on my relatively new website. And of course he was right. Uh, we need every medium that we can to interest readers in the arts. And he, Philippe knew how to tell a story in a, in, a, in a very short period of time as a 
video documentarian, reporter, and artist. And the videos that he's done have really illuminated aspects of the art scene that couldn't be achieved in any other way. So it's been a very important addition to the writing that we do on the website. Felipe is a professional, and each video is a work of art in itself. The way he frames it and the way he plans it and the kinds of photography that he uses. What Felipe does is make his own little work of art to express and communicate what the subject is. I think that his work really brings you inside of an artist's work. I mean, I know that he's worked a lot with dancers and it's very difficult to capture the feeling of a dance in video. Video is very flat, the experience of a dance is three-dimensional, it's physical, it's visceral. And I think it's one of those things where you have to almost be an artist to understand what other artists are trying to do, otherwise you're just going to miss it. I think it's very exciting because Felipe is always looking to experiment both with ways of getting the work out to the public, which I am totally excited about, and to find ways to take it to the public in everyday life. I mean, it, the, the screen of the, the W Hotel is such a huge screen, you get stuck in traffic, and it's amazing to see something truly beautiful come across. And to have these snippets of narrative, I think that we're very, uh, we're, we're much more versed at making sense in just moments of what's happening, of, what, of having someone's inner life. And I think that those, having those kind of flickers of, of, uh, of really poetry into daily life is something I'm, I, I love. And I think that Felipe's camera work and really just the way that he frames it and is able to shoot things is so beautiful. And to have that be on a big screen is totally exciting. I'm a big believer that uh, everything comes down to relationships and that's what drives every relationship. In the case of uh, working with Felipe, it was really a question of seeing his work and seeing how willing he was to go beyond the norm, but also having this discipline behind his work that would really provide um, the foundation for a project of this kind. One of the things that's really amazed me is that when we've started talking about this project and the creative juices started to flow, I then had to bring up the reality of some of the restrictions associated with using a digital billboard and the, the legal um, ramifications of having to um, be restricted technically. And what was amazing was to see Felipe's response that he was completely unnerved by that and enjoyed the fact that I was layering on even more challenges, more restrictions uh, to his storytelling process. And I think that that is a testament to his uh, adventurous, um, non-compromising, uh, problem-solving, and many people would have been turned off by that. And yet, he saw, saw it as a challenge, as something to, 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 to drive the creative process. And uh, I've learned personally from that. I think that whenever you find an artist who is willing to, to push himself and to push what the various forms can do, especially in terms of reaching an audience, that's exciting because that's when you want to give them more opportunity. You want to see what else they can do. This has always been the case with Felipe, that you know, you, you expect that, oh, this, he's this, but no, he's more than that, he's the, no, he's more than that too. And, and at each point he's surprising you and you kind of, you know, that's when you really want to say, this is worth investing in, this is worth seeing where he can take it. Because, um, you know, I think that, that Felipe has a great desire to reach as many people as possible and the sort of beauty and sort of like truth that he's dealing with, you want to get it out there, you want to, you want to disseminate it. And, and see what it can do in the world.